that was a tradition that that you get soap and you go around the neighborhood and soap up the windows. No, that was I just know, yeah, I just screw up people. You know. Yeah. So so my mother so my mother said nobody's going to soap the other window. So she went up. Remember I told you last night about the guy hanging out the window. Yeah. You know? And so she'd go up to the bathroom and at that at that window up there, and. And she would watch out the window for anybody to come to our windows. So, who comes wondering what's going on at the house but Sugar. So he comes up to that window, to the downstairs window. My mother's upstairs with a bucket of water. To look in and see who's in the house, all of a sudden, Mom dumped the water. <laughs> <laughs> and Sugar, and she, would, she went downstairs, she's laughing because she was so happy. She got something kid, you know. So she, by the time she got down, he opened the door crying. <laughs> During the parades, and all the veterans would go marching down the street, and they would be like, oh, we'll show guys. You. Yeah, I wish you would. We'll show you. Come on, Shug. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you. Okay. I'm walking that way now. We don't even have to take it anymore. <laughs> And then you, you're, uh, uh, he's Clyde Troop, and you're up, uh, what's his name? You're in the middle. And, and, he, and he's the guy that, uh, what did he do? So they're setting their strategy. This is your audience right here. We've hold, heard these stories all our lives. So, so, uh, so what we are now, it's a, it's a parade. In Franklin, and they had they had uniforms and everything, you know. So we have the big parade. So here's the the, the, the Franklin troop coming. Now, Payson, I'm Payson. He only has one eye. <laughs> this guy can't take big steps, and this guy back here is crippled. So here there. we come. Now we're all in line. Three of us. Ready? Okay. okay, here we go. Hit. 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 <laughs> catcher was coming up, and and they're looking for a license to make sure the dog is licensed. So everybody started grabbing, grabbing up their dogs, and so Brother Joe grabbed Queenie, and he's running up the hill because he can always run, you know, hills and everything. And he has Queenie, and, and then Chuck Gus came out of the board. There goes the pop kid with Queenie. <laughs> 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 so you couldn't get down over the hill for the I mean you could stand at the fence, throw a stone to hit hit the building, it was that close. So they had a fence put up so nobody because there was a, a drop. And so the brown dog dusty would be up on the yard, and here comes the mail plane, which flew low coming from the airport, and Brown Dog Gusky would run, ho, 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 right down the road and bam into that fence. <laughs> and, it's, you know, and we'd all stand there waiting for it to happen instead of stopping the poor dog. You know, we let him go, and everybody in the ho, ho, ho. But the dog survived. Yeah. Well, the next day, do it again. <laughs> and one day, I had it. I was a pretty good basketball player. So he let me have it, and he takes off. I picked up a rock. I lobbed that sucker. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I got it. We got a woman for that. Stitches? How about, how about you got me Stitches. with scissors? How about time you got your hands caught in the sewer? Yeah, yeah. Just, what? Oh, that's a good one. 
<laughs> there was this where we were they had this where, where the drainage was. And on top of it was this big iron as big as this, with a big plate. And it was a big plate. Story time. <laughs> Have a seat. And it was a big plate on top there. So you could see there's two of them. So you could see down a crack. And we're looking, Sugar and I are looking, said, said uh, something down there looks like a sword or something. Oh. I said, oh, okay, Sugar, look, I'll move the plate over and you go down and get it. We said, okay. <laughs> so so I get the plate and, he's, and instead of him looking from here, he decides to get up on the plate so he could look down better. So I got my hands under here, and under here is concrete. So now all of a sudden, I'm moving it, and he jumps up on it, and bam, it goes down. And he's standing there. <laughs> he's jumping up and down on the plate. My dad had to come up. I got everything out but one finger. Oh. And the old man come up, and uh, he took me to the house, and my finger was dislocated. And he said it himself and wrapped it up. He was doing so air raid warden, yeah. they had to learn first aid. Oh, yeah. So I never did go to the doctor, no crooked finger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't know what we were doing. The three of us were doing something. And Sugar didn't like what was going on. And I, I got mad at him and so did so, so he went and got a pair, of, and maybe we were cutting out or something, because we had scissors. And next thing I knew, I, he, he started doing something. He picked up the scissors, I started running, and he wheeled it at me. Ooh. Got me right in the tailbone. Ooh. Well, I go, you know, then the old man comes down. Now we got all these chairs around, and it's a round, a round table. And all the chairs are there. And here comes the old man down. And John Law hung between the living room and the kitchen. John Law. John Law. John Law was an old yeah. big strap belt. <laughs> minor belt. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> a minor belt. I had a minor belt. John Law. Just for John Law. Yeah, and there was a hook. And John Law hung up on that hook. Between the, between the two rooms. When you walk through, if you were tall enough, you have to duck around it <laughs> just to get by it. Now, John Law stays there. If John Law ever comes off there, it's going to be weak. Ooh. It's like pulling the gun out of the holster. You pull the gun out, you're gonna shoot it. Well, John Law comes down, it's gonna get used. Now the old man comes down, and as he's coming through, he whips John Law. Now here we are, the three of us. Oh, the old man's coming. So we start. All three start this way, <laughs> running around the table. Here come the old man chasing after him. So we'd go, room, <laughs> and then, and then all of a sudden the old man would, the old man would stop and start trying to come the other way. So we'd go the other way. So finally, now, now, now wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm gonna get that far. So, so finally, the rule was, if you sit down, you get one good crack over the back, and you're done. Well, cry, baby. Yeah. He goes I was down. smart. <laughs> he goes down first. Yeah, he I'm gets ready. a little love tap. From <laughs> <laughs> he gets just a little love tap. But he, oh, you thought he was dying. <laughs> He's yelping. So now, the game's still on. So here goes Sugar and I. Room. Room. The old man, room, going back down. So finally, I said, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Go ahead, give it to me. So all of a sudden, boy, I get a boom, get a nice big wealth. <laughs> didn't need, didn't need tattoos. We had. Tattoos. <laughs> so now one's left. Sure, one more left. One left. <laughs> so he starts running. So Sugar's smart enough to know that the old man's going to reverse on him. So the old man, he gives it a reverse. He starts back. Sugar pulls a chair out. <laughs> he goes, Oh, after that, I really get it. He's yeah. deep, really well, you had you had three nice tattoos. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, no, what, he said he, one time he stopped, he reached over and slapped at Oh, him, yeah. And he yeah. says, you missed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like you say, and then he looked at you like this. And just look up at the guy in the wall. Oh! And he look at your back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Settle down. And you do it. Now, how about how about you said eat soup? Mom would go to the store on Saturday. So now she'd buy 
cookies. That was a treat for us. Big bag of cookies. Now you can't have cookies until after you eat. You eat. You eat. You eat. You eat. You eat. Now if she was to tease us, she'd put it in a bowl and sit it out in the middle of the table. <laughs> so now we're sitting there, boy, eating and all of a sudden, the eyes go up, boy, looking at those cookies. You can't eat them. So I thought, oh, let's try it. Take one and put it right here. You don't eat it. Put it right there. Oh, well, if you could do it, I could do it. <laughs> so then I go for two. <laughs> so then they thought they could so fun. So finally, Mom got enough, and she come over, took all the cookies, put them down. <laughs> he sits on this end. First thing he does is gets a cereal box, puts it between him and sugar. Right like that. <laughs> I didn't want to look. And then he'd eat like this. So you didn't have to look at sugar. Now the reason why I'd make noise. Sugar sit Oh well, yeah, he'd make noise with a, with a cereal. Now the, the now all of a sudden what he'd do is he'd get the oyster cracker box. Dump out a bunch of oyster crackers. Now you know the size of an oyster cracker. Yeah, right? <laughs> and get the get the oyster crackers, lay them all out on the table in front of them. This one's getting pissed. <laughs> so now he gets the peanut butter and jelly and pulls it over. Mom said, okay, boys, now, time to go to school. Let's go. He can't hear you. <laughs> so now he gets the peanut butter and jelly. One oyster cracker at a time. Peanut butter, jelly. Set it down. <laughs> peanut butter, jelly. This one, this one is so, oh, he's going nuts. He's going nuts. Next one, peanut butter, jump, set it down. <laughs> Till he gets about 10. Billy, you're going to be late for school, Billy. Let's go, Billy. Now, he got about 15, 20 oyster crackers. And then all of a sudden, he pushes everything out, and like a machine gun, boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> So he was he was a macho guy, you know, and so so they uh, hit me out playing with the guys, and they said, "Hey Joe, uh, we're going we're going over to Bug House." He said, "Go to the movie. You want to go?" Oh yeah, yeah, I'd like to go. Well, you know, we had. I mean, it was uh, I think a nickel or a dime to go yeah, to, to, to to go to the to go to the movie, and uh, uh, so so hit. He'd, he'd come, uh, he'd come. Mom scrubbing the floor, you know. Hey, mom, uh, guys are going to the movie, and uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to go. And I don't have any money, bro. Joe. Don't have any money, D. He called him D. Don't have any money, D. Oh, okay. Go back up. All right, D. You going? You going? Well, my mother goes. Oh, go ahead. You can go ask her again. So he comes back again. Mom, the guys are really wanting me to go with them. They're, they're, you're, I told you I don't have any money. So he said, well, okay. So now he goes out and he said, oh, D, you're going to miss it. It's uh, whatever movie it was. It's it. So he said, I'll try it one more time. So we go, Mom, Mom, Mom to the uh, kitchen there, and she hears it coming. So he comes back and he opens the door. He said, he says, Mom, and from behind the door she had the room. Boom! <laughs> Hits him over the head. <laughs> and, and the guys are watching. They said, D ain't going. Let's go. <laughs> I've heard that one. Uh, it was a Fink we spot, Nick. I can't remember who it was. But Shug, this one, you know, we're talking to him. And Shug wasn't paying attention, but he couldn't hear him. And the kid said, hey, D P. I'm talking to you. He heard that. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't kick ass. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. Ran him by the neck against a rock or something. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I can't remember exactly how who it was, but it, it, your, your dad was a tough dude. Yeah. What did the nickname mean? He was deaf. They called him Deefy. Oh. And it was. And yeah, the way the way he's told it before was he, he had the guy like by his throat. Against a rock, it just what you say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can Yeah, you're right, Bill. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. glad I told you the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was my my junior year, and he was he was, Shug was a senior, and uh, linebacker. 
and I was a backup quarterback. And he it would have scrimmage. It wasn't enough for him to kick my butt during the day. He had to hit me good. You know? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a run through, you know. And so and I'll never forget this one time. I was doing we ran what to call the belly series. And I and I ran the you, uh, belly series, ran the guy through, kept it, and I come around the end, and there he is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> waiting. Oh, waiting for me. <laughs> he creamed me. <laughs> That's what's called brotherly love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a backup quarterback at the time, and. We we're going to play tech, and, I, and we we're talking on the phone before the before the game. As I email, we're going to be beating you bad enough. I'm going to get in the game, and I said I guarantee I'm going to run the ball at some point because I'd like to run the ball. I said we're going to go head on, and we're finally going to see who's tougher. Ooh. And he's like, okay, all right. <laughs> We've and, been on the same team all our lives. Yeah, yeah. never played against each other. Were you aligned safety? I was a quarterback. D a defensive quarterback. back, right? And you remember my buddy Bobby Mooch. Mooch was a receiver. So sure enough, we get to the game, we're winning, I get in the, in the second half. Now the game was muddy, snowy, Mar Northern against Michigan Tech in Houghton in November, mid-November. Oh, no. Snow on the snow banks. And so I played the whole game. He's been playing the whole game. Mud. <laughs> he's mud. I'm in there all fresh, white. <laughs> fresh, you know? And so, and then we had uh, Frank Harris from Flint Hamity. Frank was not the brightest guy in the world, and he ran in the play. Well, he didn't understand the play, and then he comes in, he has his mouthpiece in, and he doesn't speak well to begin with, and he, he just mumbles something to me. So I, had, and I was like, ah, I'm gonna call my own play. This is our chance. So I call a bootleg, fake a pitch, and then it's just, if, if, the, if the DN bites on it, it's just me and the defensive back. There it was, perfect timing. Boom, come around the corner, Bill. We're going one on one. One on one, oh, and he comes up, and now natural instinct, because his eyes were like the devil. <laughs> and it was, it was sheer survival. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, we sprint at each other, and I go, huh, and I fake. And he goes, whoa. And I keep running. So then, then, then I go down. And it was a good gain, right? And I get tackled the way up there. And there's a big pile up, you know, and all of a sudden you hear echoing from the back. You just hear, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, oh, I felt bad, but it was funny. Because I had a big game. You know, I was like, oh, did you look bad, you know? And then, you pussy, you pussy. I remember asking him, I called him during the week. I said, how did the film session go? Today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was horrible. Horrible. But, he was like, but, Billy Pop. And he can't tell the story, you know? So. But you always told us that you would have died. I would have yeah, died. Yeah, oh, yeah. he would have killed He would have killed me. I knew it. He would have killed me. Yeah. Joe's the parish shop. Joe's the parish shop. Those stories are funny, too. I just heard that for the first time last year. year. Joe's the yeah. parish shop. Well, you know, in the Bill Air home, he also had that shop above. Did you ever go up there when we were kids? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, picking up on what Rick is asking, are you guys handymen to this day? You are. Yeah, I do woodwork. So, you picked up the trait? Yeah, I pick, I do woodwork. As a matter of fact, I blacked to a uh, woodworking club for a while. And, uh, yeah. We build stuff and we'd have, you know, yeah, but I have some stuff that I built and I was showing you at breakfast uh, some of the stuff. But, yeah, yeah, you tell us all about what he does. He does mechanical yeah. work. How about you, mechanical Shook? How about you? How about you, Uncle Shook? No, I really, uh, please <laughs> don't do your lap. <laughs> she does all the work. Yeah. Hey, oh you, my you God. Do it well, I do it all. <laughs> Holly does it. How about you, Uncle oh, Bob? Oh, are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, one time, Barb was making noodles, <laughs> and I took one out of the pot and straightened it right up. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much as I could do. It curled back up, and I couldn't straighten it up again. So I could it. <laughs> no, I, I, I could do minor things. Yeah, my dad fell in your footsteps. <clears throat> we weren't allowed to do anything. And our, our dad never taught us that. See, any yeah, of that. It just like this repair shop that he had. Sometimes we had to get down and, and watch it till he got out of work. Yeah. 
for some reason, scoop well, over. Well, in case somebody we, wanted to come pick up their, uh, in bring something in or, or, or take yeah. something out. And well, we, we, he never taught us to never fix taught anything. anything. And then, like with his tools, he had them in a certain place, and you don't touch them. Oh, yeah. But then, he'd be working on his car, and he'd be underneath, and he'd Billy or Bobby, uh, give me a number five wrench. <laughs> so I take one, and you, and you get smart enough, because what you did, he's under the car right here. So you don't go up here and say, here, Dad, here's your wrench. Because your legs are right there, <laughs> you throw it and get out of there. <laughs> 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 Here it comes, it's a boom! 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 But then, but but then, then they wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're stuck in the snow. Didn't even lift your leg. <laughs> then you come back to camp because you were cold. Yeah. And the, the, the deer walked up, up to you at the camp, and you shot the deer at the camp. <laughs> and the old man, the old man was jealous. <laughs> <laughs> he, he called the deer retarded. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, <I know. clears throat> but, when he used to tell the rest of the story, he did say his dad called mom and said, yeah, Billy got a deer. And he even saw he sounded like he was kind of a little bit proud. Oh, yeah. 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 But the, you know, it's funny, though. He would take us hunting all the time, you know, and Rick and I would not get deer. You know, one time he was in the middle of the camp making all this noise. We're out in the brush, you know, and so we, we go all spread out. Let me, let, me, let me chime in on this one. All right. They're always worried about can the deer smell you? Can they hear you? And so he's got, we're under a big pine tree. Makes this fire. He's got sardines. He's got smoked oysters. He's, he's chewing. He's got beer. Everything that can stink. I remember we were Jeff Cornock. He makes Cornhock. noise anyway. Just yeah, noises all the time. And yeah. I remember Jeff Cornock, one of my buddies, is talking with us. So it was all like, we're like, hey, this year we're going to get a deer. And, and we're going to get as far from this place as possible. Yeah. Cause this is middle of the day and we go right. That yeah. Yeah. So right. Early we went, yeah. So we we sneak out, spread out. You know, nobody near us, and, and we're far away from him. You know, enough. And, uh, and I remember sitting there that that day. I remember sitting there like this is gonna be the, the stillest, and most still I've ever been. I'm just like, I'm like Josie Wales. Yeah, you you were tired. I was just like, we had I'm like Scott come down my face, right? Because <laughs> David Sigler from North yeah. Dickens had said. He goes, when I hunt, I let snot come down. You don't move. You, you move just you do your eyes. And then you do your eyes. And, and you just do it for hours. Mm -hmm. And we're laying mm -hmm. in the snow and the brush and, you know, just waiting. And, and he's somehow, over there, right? He's over there moving around, clanking <laughs> eggs, cleaning <laughs> stuff. And somehow, when we're spread around here, we so hear, here, all of a sudden, we hear, wait, yeah. boom! Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that no way did that come from the camp. Yeah. And all of a sudden you hear, oh! <laughs> that <laughs> son of a gun got one. <laughs> and we're and so we wait till dark, and we come in, and he goes, and this story, this story is, oh yeah. I saw this deer peek out. It was so far away, I had to lob one. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got, he's got open sights. Lobbed it in there. We got scopes. You know, we got everything. We saw it there. He got uh. The rooms were only two upstairs bedroom, yeah. a living room, and a, and kitchen. a kitchen. That was it. Yeah. And there were sometimes in beds that we like people slept with cots and couches and, and well, things. Well, we told them last night. And mom and dad had one room. Yeah. Then the other room was. Single bed for Joe, single bed for Dolores, and a double bed for the three of us. Yeah. And it was wall-to-wall -wall bed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there was enough to, to you could you could come between the bed and the, and the dresser like this <laughs> to get to your bed. <laughs> yeah. And you could get the blankets, and that was the other thing, fighting oh. for blankets. <laughs>
three of us, you know, you roll over the blankets go, you know. That's what you're saying, you, you, you fight for the middle in the winter. No, yeah. And then you fight for the couch. Well, I, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I got the middle. Covered, you know, if you pulled, turned over with a cover, going to cover would come off the guy the other end, you know. No. But what? Well, Plus being wet from piss. I was gonna say, <laughs> wait a second, wet from piss, is that because the other thing. Was that because of you too, or was it because of you? We understood you couldn't find the bathroom. That's why, yeah. <laughs> he didn't have to go to the bathroom, he didn't have to bed. Or down the hole. Yes. Or off so, well, yeah, you know, so down, down the hole. Or off the banisters. How about how about talking about banisters? How about when we used to play cowboys? Yeah. On the back porch. And we had a railing along here uh, to go down the steps, and then you had a railing between this house and this house. So that was our horses. Get on the get on this railing, get a, get a rope tied there, go. <laughs> and the other guy be on this banister. Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> I got, I got, I, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they had reins. I tied a rope and looped it around and put it, and I had spurs. <laughs> Our own homemade noodles. So they had to dry. So put newspaper down on the table. You lay the, the, the rolled out. Uh, piece of dough, which would be half this table here, you lay it out because it would dry. And the flies would come and that shit on the <laughs> you know, and come more flies. And then you roll them up, cut them up, throw them in the soup. <laughs> you know, they, and they talk about pollution and everything. And, you know, we lived in... in they China. wondered why they peppered their dough. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't need it. Put pepper in the dough. Why didn't pepper you didn't pepper <laughs> And underneath was uh, was a railroad, and the old engines with the smoke come up, and the, the uh, and the uh, uh, creek, which was sulfur creek. Shit creek. We call it shit creek. And so you, you walk over there, the train comes, all that smoke come up, you just walk through it, have ice cream cone, you have a vanilla, by the time the train passed, you had chocolate bit. <laughs> oh, I got chocolate bit. <laughs> Sprinkles. Did you cover about the uh, oh, old lady about the the, the, the pepper the, pe the flies? The flies. Yeah. But, uh, I thought it when the old lady Studer was over and asked her, she said, "Oh, Alice, I see you put pepper on your dough." <laughs> oh no, that's just flies. Shit. <laughs> 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 I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I we were all dressed up on yeah. Yeah. And the food's good on the island? Yeah, the food is delicious. What, you eat some fresh fish? Um, yeah. It was like a mix of things. Well, we did um, brunch at the hotel. It was so good. It was delicious. Well, tell me about the hotel because it, I, I've seen pictures of it. It's so historic and it, there's so many different rooms. Like, if you go, it's like a maze somewhere to get back to the Really? And every single room is different. Oh. Every single room is different. Okay. They're all so, decorated yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, there's uh, like a little room. It's a pink and green room. And it's like, um, it's the... All the, about all the movies that were shot at Mackinac Island. Oh. And um, there was, uh, I'm, the only one I remember yeah. was Back in Time, somewhere in time. Uh, yeah. Well, we're looking forward to visiting. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What do you think of this family reunion we're having? I'm excited. <laughs> A lot of family here. Uh, Three of us, and that was halfway. <laughs>
And not, not, not only did we believe the suitcase theory of 21, we also believed in Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a good deal. <laughs> You're dumb if you don't believe in Santa Claus. Get Easter money. I still got a basket. And Dee came to visit us a few years ago, and she got an Easter basket. What? From the bunny? The Easter bunny. The Easter, oh, Easter basket. Oh, we still, the Easter bunny still visits. Yeah. Was your Easter basket full of champagne? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet. So Not yet. All these years, the bunny doesn't know you. <laughs> <laughs> but the wonderful story I love about Dear Shug. Here we go. <laughs> the, night before, the night before Halloween was, uh, you know, strike night. And then Halloween you dressed. And every, every kid... Had, what is that? You're on, you're on, you're oh. on. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. And every kid had a cake of oxygen soap. You, you, you know, smeared the windows. And, oh, God, my mom, it, it was like constantly... The window. So she waited upstairs with a bucket of water for the next kid. And she waited, and there he was. And she threw the bucket of water down on him. And who comes through the kitchen door crying, sugar? Ma! <laughs> <laughs> and she beat the hell out of him. <laughs> extraordinary woman, she really was. Well, you're. Your nieces and nephews are here, so we want to hear more stories about your mom and her parents, Baba and Jetto. Baba and Jetto. Baba and Jetto came to America, I would guess, about maybe 1899 or so forth. And they lived in this little house, and the most extraordinary thing about the house was the toilet was next to the kitchen table. <laughs> and any time anyone had to use the toilet, we sat at the table and sang. <laughs> no, no. And if it was a long visit, Everybody left the room. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no, no bathroom. There was just door. No, just they, I remember they Baba. Didn't have, they didn't have a, they didn't I can remember Baba washing, uh, washing Jeno in the pantry. Uh, she would carry water from the coal stove. And, you know, he, he would be bathing there. Uh, no, there was no bathroom. No bathroom. It was, that, that was the toilet. <laughs> And, of course, January 7th was Christmas. And that was, you know, the big occasion. Serving Christmas. Right? And yeah. I kid you Christmas. not, the one thing that I, I'll, I'll remember as a little child, from a, as a little child, Mom would say to Brother Joe and me, Aunt Millie's coming. And we knew. And Aunt Millie was my model. Yeah. She was a roaring 20s flapper. Aunt Millie was the first woman I knew who had manicures, had makeup, had, you know. And she, oh, my Aunt Millie was beautiful. She really was beautiful. And I can remember, we could hardly, Brother Joe and I could hardly wait to go see Aunt Millie. <laughs> and Mom would always dress as fine. And we would run from the wool plant down to Franklin. And we would go upstairs and wake at Aunt Millie. And she always greeted us so warmly. Only later did I know the night before she was being deep. Being <laughs> <laughs> deep. But she never, she never looked like she was suffering from it. <laughs> and she always had presents for us and so forth. And I'll be damned, my grandfather, Jetto, 
remember the show uh, I Love Lucy? Yeah. Fred Mertz, uh, that was by Jenna. He had this pot belly. Uh, and he, you know, she was like that. And for some reason, I don't know how he arranged it, and I, I never had it explained to me, but on Christmas, January 7th, these executives from Bethlehem Steel would appear at this little house. And oh, they adored Aunt Millie. And Aunt Millie being the sexy person she was would be pouring the drinks and so forth, yeah. And it was always festive. But the most unnatural thing was that the adults always ate first. And we kids had to sit in this darkened parlor waiting till they finished. And we were always hungry. <laughs> oh, co yeah. oh, Coke even has worse memories than <laughs> I do. <laughs> would you get like the scraps and leftovers? Well, mom, mom would come flashing through with a chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> and they would be there having a marvelous time in the and but and then as jo Joe and I got older, we used to go attend mass across to Connemouth, and we we would walk all the way from f the Will Plant, all the way through Franklin, across the bridge to Connemouth to attend church. But once Brother Joe was in college, and you know I was already working and so forth, we would stop off to see Baba and Jeddo after mass. And that was a good time to go over to the Serbian club. And Jenna would order his shot and his beer. And my dignified grandmother, as so though I shouldn't, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> and my baba, she was the grand duchess. She wore this horrible costume jewelry all the time. And my mom kept not only our home, but she she, she housekeeps for my for my grandmother too. My grandmother never did housekeeping. My mom did it all, both our home and her home. You know, and she would sit there, you know, as a duchess. I I can remember when, after my mom passed, she she and Jetta moved with Uncle Peter in his apartment, and Uncle Peter would have these marvelous cocktail parties. And Baba would sit there, dignified, and then she would pretend that she was uh, reading, and she would hold the book like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, Baba, oh. <laughs> but they were, uh, they were, oh God, they were, they were wonderful characters, and I, I was just telling. Uh, Isaiah, when he was here, and Rick was telling me how well he's doing in school, I said, oh, I said, I can remember when Uncle Joe and I would be in school, and for some reason, my mother read our report cards to my grandfather, and she would go through my, of course, my marks always surpassed <laughs> Brother Joe's, you know, he was the athlete. But a scholar he wasn't. <laughs> and Jenna would smoke his pipe, his feet out in his hammock. Dolores Smart, boys dumb. <laughs> Were there report cards in there too? What? Were there report cards a part of that? <laughs> not them. Okay. <laughs> Is he say not him? Not then. <laughs> Not, not when you had with the two of you because nah. we were later. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Tomorrow yeah. is a long day. Yeah. 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 This is the wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven after eleven already. So. Oh my goodness. We made it long last night. Yeah.